Rahul. Hello friends. In this video, let's talk about case statement in MDX. This is one of the important concept in MDX and as well as easy concept. Why we need a case here? So why can't we handle with other uh, conditional statements? Let us say if you see there is a conditional statement we have in the RDBMS or like MDX queries that is called as a if. Everybody knows that. So what ideally if is going to do here? So why we need case? See if see there is a, a multiple ifs also we can use it. That is one way of handling the a case statement. But for each and every scenario in MDX or in RDBMS we have a specific uh, term. We have a specific area to use it. That is the best practice to use it. So what ideally if is going to do? So if is going to handle like this if condition comma true part comma false part. So what will happen if I need a other condition also because my my requirement is not going to handle only with a single condition. If you see by default if is going to handle a single condition here. Condition here I'll keep it. Let us say the sales amount is uh, uh, some greater than 0 or less than 0 or equal to 0 or more than some 500, 600. So that time I will be getting one true part and one false part. Either of the value I will be getting it. But my condition will be tested only once here. My condition will be checked only once here. I cannot apply this condition saying that in between sales amount is less than 100 and more than um, 50 something that's one condition i cannot put multiple conditions in a single if statement yes i have a flexibility to use if else but the best practice is if you have that kind of scenario the best practice is to use a case case is also a kind of conditional statements which helps you to check with multiple conditions. So let us say now let me write a syntax case expression. See the the purpose of the case is same in any programming language in any RDBMS in MDX. There is no change in the purpose of the case. There is a slight change in the syntaxes but yes there is a when we change the technology yes there is a slight change in the syntax case expression when some value let us say value 1 then v1 something like that when value 2 then v2 so and so on like how how many events we can put we can put it else else you can make it as uh, some vn or general general value let us say general value end so this is what the syntax of case if you see here this is a condition the condition satisfies if, if with this value then i'll be displaying v1 if the condition satisfies uh, this value i'll be displaying v2 and i can put multiple how many set of values I can put it I can put here else I have a general value if none of the conditions are getting satisfied here then I can display some general value some default value I can also say default value in, in IT terms the value is default value so default value so this is what a background of the case statement case is also a kind of conditional statement it is a super set of if I can say that if by default if works with one condition but case is going to work with a multiple conditions so now let me show you practically how to use this case statement 
in MDX queries. So I already talked about what is MDX and how to work with MDX queries and all in the earlier videos. So there are a lot of MDX introduction and all because in this video purely I'll be talking about case statement only. I'll not be talking about I will be using sets or tuples and uh, some basic in uh, ba uh, some MDX queries I'll be writing here but I am not going to talk about that how to write a basic MDX query and all. So I already covered in the previous videos so you, you can uh, cross check the description uh, section for the other uh, SSCIS and MDX videos. So I covered introduction, architecture and so on some important interview questions, partitions, KPIs and all. So let's move on to the uh, case statement. So I have simply designed a cube so which I used a couple of uh, like a dimension tables and the one or two fact tables if you see this. So I have used like a some dim date, dim currency, dim product and dim customer, a dim sales territory and some two fact tables fact internet sales and fact internet sales reason and dim promotion. So these are the list of tables I use I am going to use for my example. So I already designed a cube. So how to design this cube you can check in the previous video. So I have designed a cube like this and I have deployed that cube in the my server. You can see there are couple of uh, cubes I have in my server. For each and every example I deploy especially that cube with a specific uh, set of uh, <coughs> columns and all. So that explanation is very easy for understanding. So now I will be using the SSAS underscore examples under that I have a cube with the name of AdventureWorks DW 2016. Here I will be using a default data of AdventureWorks DW 2016. So you don't need to generate a data. It almost covers all the scenarios of our MDX and SSAS. Now let's write a new query on the top of this database. Let's click on new query. I am going to help you to explain the case statement in MDX. That is the reason I selected MDX here. Now once you click on that you will get a so window like this. So this is the place where we will be writing the MDX query. Now so let me show you how to write it. <laughs> so now let me put a, a let me put a, a condition like what I am going to do it. See here if you see I have couple of measures by default yes of course. So these are the list of measures I have in my system. So discount amount and uh, revision number sales amount and so on I have couple of measures tax amount and all. So I will be using this measure let us say sales measure sales amount. If the sales amount is certain figure if the sales amount is let us say uh, greater than some uh, 4000 so then I will say the sales are good. for a particular year. If it is let us say less than um, less, uh, less than 4000 and uh, some greater than some 2000 or something like that or 0 something like that so then I will say it is okay something like that else or it is equal to let us say sales, or sales amount is 0 then I will say it as a so no profit no loss. So this is how I am going to make it as. So this is how I am going to um, use a case statement to handle this scenario. So now let me write a case statement here. See here. So with. See I will be generating a kind of common table expressions. I am I will be generating a one temporary table in terms of RDBMS. CTE in terms of RDBMS and I will be using this CTE in the next level queries. So I am going to make it as a so measure only measures dot sales condition. I am I am making a sales condition whatever the name you want you can keep it is whatever the name you want you can keep that sales condition as case when now as I told you that so sales amount if the sales amount is greater than 4000 then good when sales amount 
is less than 4000 and sales amount some greater than what I say uh, 2000 then I am going to say it as a it's, it's okay okay sales something like that else are zero let me make it as a uh, when sales amount I am trying to uh, uh, like uh, I am trying to consider all the possible scenarios here that's the reason why I am taking multiple uh, conditions here the sales amount is zero then no profit uh, no loss no loss else I'll make it as a loss end so this is how we define a case condition see now I have like a covered three or four scenarios almost all the scenarios if you see this because sales amount is greater than sales amount is less than and greater than zero else is loss always now now I want to use this member in the queries so I have created a, a kind of um, a temporary data to use in the next level now let, let's come here select so here I will be using this so here I will be using sales amount so I want to display sales amount as well so that I can see the reason of it So why are you displaying still sales amount is nothing but I want to show you the amount as well as condition so that testing will be more easier on columns comma so I want to take uh, some year anything uh, some due date or year some calendar year on rows from my cube so if you understand very clearly so I have defined a member here I will be using that member in my select query in the next so, but while executing you need to execute in one shot okay so let's execute it yes now you can see this so but the values which we have is all are more than that particular definition that is the reason why we are having now there are nulls as well for a specific year 2005 6 7 8 and 9 10 there is a nulls so null they are considering as a zero query my, my query is taking as a zero that is the reason why no profit no loss so let me put a very little big figure so that I can see it this one okay so now let me make it as this okay let's run now so that I will get little different values now see this value is good this is okay this is good this is okay the sale amount which is more than that particular that is a good that is a okay sales then there is there are some scenarios where we have no profit and no loss and there is no negative sales that is the reason why there is no loss statement it means that on the whole there are cases where I have a good business there are cases some I have some okay cases so why I made it as OK business is because to get a sales amount I need to invest something that is the reason why I made it as OK. If I get more than this particular one because my I need to consider my investment as well that is the reason why I made it as this high figure to say it is a good business. So this is how we use a case statement in MDX. So first I define a member to identify that to use the case then I use that particular in the expressions so that's it about a case statement in the MDX not only case statement if you have any queries on the MDX or power BI SQL server and power BI so please put your question in the comment section I'll try to answer as soon as possible and please follow me on Facebook for more technical updates thank you for watching thank you